Oh, hey everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today along with... First mate Rakir, who's gonna lower his captain's volume on Discord. <laughs> Test one, two. It, it seems to look normal on OBS at least. So let's hope we don't blow out anyone's ears with that. Uh, but yeah, and let's actually start the game. Right. What? Okay, what the hell now? Is, is it still what? Is it still, still just white? A... Yep, and your head is cut off again. Okay, the hell. Uh, yeah, OBS had an update, and that seems to have broken some things. Uh, along with again, um, <laughs> Drakir's head apparently. <laughs> Not like. <again. laughs> uh, where is? Yeah. I... <laughs> OBS, yeah, oh, one of the things that OBS did was that it broke the Stream Deck yeah, plugin, but that seems to have been fixed quickly enough. But the other thing that seems to yeah, that it's done is made everything, yeah, just made everything, uh, yeah, the font of everything just completely fat with it. So I might, I might just copy my everything and just go back to the previous version of it. Uh, but yeah, uh, is it still showing just a white screen? I can see uh, the game and a lot of red lines. Yeah, that's because things are selected. Actually, this looks a lot like Streamlabs did. If OBS is copying Streamlabs, that's a bad sign, I'd say, because Streamlabs is an inferior ver version of OBS. Okay. Yeah. Well, and you this think it would well know. Like... Yeah. Well, this, at, this at least allows me to activate the frame limiter, which will be needed with this game. Okay. Uh, oh, come on. It just turned white again. Okay, yeah, there's something... It... Okay, what now... What's going on? Uh, now I the know game is not capturing properly either. We, we have had this game on something Sunday before. Yeah, and it worked. The only problem with it was that the text was going slow. Okay, let's try starting it up again. Though it seems to be stuck on OBS at the moment. Oh, there it goes. Uh, yeah, if this doesn't work, we'll have to we'll have to swap to something else. I'm not sure what might be breaking the damn thing because, like Trakia said, we we got it to work before. Come on, start up the game. Yeah, we did have struggles before, but not on this level. Yeah, the, the white screen thing, that is OBS, though. Something with it, well, being a brand new update on it, uh, just seems to break with Discord. So, yeah, very well done with that, OBS. Just break one of your main platforms. Uh, okay, did it break Steam now? Because it's... Let me cancel that. Unable to sync. Why the fuck is... Okay, yeah, it seems it seemed to have messed with the resolutions there for a bit. Yeah, okay. now back on white screen again. Yeah, we can't stream with that because you can't see them, of course. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's try again. Turning the limiter on. Yeah, now it shows you when the game isn't being selected. Okay, now with the limiter on. Okay, it works on OBS, but you have... Nothing. I got the point again, because you did that. Okay, something weird is going on then. Maybe... If I do this, then I can see that the stream goes white again. I moved uh, I moved Discord to my second monitor where OBS is on. Now I try up MDK again. Still white? Still white. Okay, yeah, then, yeah. Uh, this new OBS upgrade, up, upgrade, update just breaks everything. Then, well done, OBS. Well, freaking done. And we're back here. Let's. Uh, no, if we're going to have technical difficulties, let me just put up the sign. Yeah, as I say, we. we hmm. See if other games work. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm starting up Minecraft to see if that will work. If it gives a white screen on everything, then yeah, fuck this update. We're going back to the old version. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, and weren't these what you called? Didn't you say these were supposed to be hot fixes? Now I didn't say it, but OBS said that it was a hot fix, but it seems more like a hot fuck up. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I know. And I have heard and seen sometimes where they do a hot fix, it actually turns worse. But those are usually rare. Yeah. Ugh. Let me just move that around a bit, so at least some stuff might be visible if it does come up. Uh, but yeah, that's that's going to be extremely disappointing if we have to cancel tonight's stream due to, well, OBS cocking up. And I, I don't yeah. care that I'm cursing this much in the first five minutes, despite uh, Twitch supposedly uh, yeah, doing something to shadow hide the streams where and recordings in which there are is cursing in the first five minutes or so, or whatever. I'm just pissed off with them. Anyways, rant done for the moment. Mm. Anyways, then. Uh, yeah, since it looks like games might not work, or at least... I could still do the stream normally, but... Drakir would, uh, wouldn't be able to see anything unless he'd watched the stream, but then he'd, his reactions would be late to everything, uh, like we had early on with this. Uh, oh, I can see Minecraft. Okay, but it's not selected, so when I select it... Still visible? Still visible. Okay. So uh, it's only with the MTK. Now, it could be because it's full screen. It, my, I've got Minecraft windowed, so it does. It might be that that it. And I've tried to get MDK two to work. I've tried to get MDK to work in windowed, but every time we open up its uh, settings, it crashes. Still don't know what the yeah. hell that is about, and I haven't been able to find anything on that online. Yeah, yeah. I had a white screen two moments ago here now again, but now it's normal. Yeah, that's. That might have been because I was shifting the size of this window around because for some reason it starts off like 800 by 600 and refuses to change if you even if you change the resolution of the well in the game. Okay, hmm. but you know, you know, it's OBS is not entirely broken at least. Yeah, <clears throat> no, I don't remember. We wait, didn't we have actually that issue with the uh, MDK before? With the, the window mode, the full screen mode. So, uh, is there a white screen just shut down? Along with crashes? I don't fully recall. It also probably helps if I put this on top of everything. But I might as well hide it for, for the moment. Uh, yeah. MDK done broke, so instead live testing then. Now then, is it still showing the game? Still showing the game. Okay. And red lines. Uh, yeah, I really dislike that. That you know what they added with this hotfix. So another reason to turn back. Let's start up the save. This is to see if it's just on the menu. Uh, if it'll still show, I'll have to start up a full screen game and see if that might be what is breaking everything. <clears throat> yeah, but do remember, MDK is old, and the more I think about it, the more I remember we did have issues. Yeah, we did have, I think we had them it crashing on trying to get to the options as well, but I'm pretty sure I was able to access the options the last time I tested it, a few days ago. Yeah, um, yeah I, just, I just remember some of the, that game world causing us a, a lot of uh, headaches. Yeah, not, uh, I I recall that the, the loading text was slow, but I already found a fix for that, but that... Yeah, actually, let's close that off since it's not needed anymore. I think it should be had more sure. I think I recall remember saying that we agreed us to streaming it as long as we get it to pro work properly for... I think we actually had more than one issue with it. I'll have to check the... Uh, 
Now I have to check the uploaded video of it then, because I don't remember too many more issues of it. But that might just be nostalgia glasses. Yeah, possibly. I think I remember both liking it and also sitting with my hands up against my face and going, Oh dear. Mm. It's gonna um, be one of those games. Yeah, if we, and if we can't get it to work, then we, we can try the GOG version. Um, I'll have to buy it, but oh well. I I plan on streaming this game sooner or later. At <laughs> after all, hmm. And it's it's taking it's, a, it's taking an extra. Uh, just as I mentioned, it it's loading so taking so long to load. Uh, okay. Where the bloody heck are you? Uh, where you wanted me to be? What? Uh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. When I told you you, you deserve to be in heaven, I didn't mean you should try to build up to heaven. Uh, no, this, this is the beginning of a... Uh, <clears throat> of a planned <laughs> skyport, so to speak, along with an actual elevator that go moves up. Oh dear! Though it goes up pretty slowly at the moment. I might have to do something about that <clears throat> to make it go faster. I don't think this will actually. I don't think having added a second one actually makes it go faster. It just needs. Yeah, it needs more rotational speed. What doing a second water wheel does is adding more power to it, but not more speed. I think, at least. I still don't know the ins and outs of Create. Yeah. Uh, what the yeah. heck? The Did you just see a cloud go through the pillar? Yep. Inside the tun elevate elevate elevator tunnel? Yeah. Um, that's kind of concerning. Uh, yeah, this is just on the side. Uh, the, how this works is basically that the oh, the wing, the rope pulley that is pulling it up is connected to basically red wireless redstone with these redstone links. And yeah, a little doodad in between that just changes the power depend if it gets... Well, even uh, any in input for a second. So if I do this, it'll come back down again. It's a bit hard to see, but it is noticeably... Yeah, it is moving down again. But let's keep it going up. Um, um, I, do, I do have to ask. Um, does it have elevator music? <laughs> no, but I could probably install some. Don't. Okay, in the meantime, let's actually get out of here. I should secure that. Maybe even add a second elevator that goes down into the colony. But yeah, it seems that windowed gameplay still accurately shows up. And there's a lot of Enderman out tonight, it seems. Oh dear. And you, if hmm. right, you, you should prefer to do winner mode since that way you can easily have a, an eye on in, in everything. Yeah, on the side. Uh, like I said, MDK doesn't uh, refuses to work with windowed mode, even though PC Gaming Wiki said that it should work well with it. Oh, but yeah. apparently not. Uh, yeah, it, okay. Unless everything <laughs> seems to work formally again now. I'm, I'm starting something else up, though, just to do a test if... Uh, it's full screen or not. Oh dear. Because if And this... white. Okay, this isn't even being caught on the game at the moment. Uh, let's see. Nameplate, event box, razor, audio. Hmm. Okay, so you're just getting nothing at the moment? I'm getting nothing at the moment. Yeah, then then it's in full screen mode that is screwing with things. Like but I can... No, that's not the... Uh, let me move this a bit further. The sound of this might be familiar to people, even though the gameplay isn't being shown at the moment, because it's not being set as a capture option at the moment. Uh, I hear nothing. I've, set the, I've turned the, the sound low, way low, because the audio can be rather loud. 
shut up Paimon. Okay, now if I change this oh. in the settings, where's the settings? There's the settings behind the camera, of course. Let's see, graphics, hi. Now we change this to windowed mode. And do okay. you have sight? I have a sight of Minecraft again. Okay, yeah, that, that confirms it. For some reason, just having something window in full screen just screws with everything. Like, All right. I... I I don't get why the hell that's going on. Yeah, uh, again, hmm. we, we usually prefer window mode anyway. Yes, we already gone over that. Yeah, uh, at, at least it didn't break uh, everything else again like last time. I can think of one way to try and fix this. Let's see, task manager, and oh, then dear. we move to services. Now OBS should be somewhere in here. Maybe it's that it's. Either OBS or Discord isn't getting enough processing power for some reason. Uh, let's see. No, details. That's the one I need. Okay. Uh, Discord. Let's set priority to high. Yes, change priority. And the heck is ECAG20NT.exe? I'll, I'll have to inspect whatever that is. I do not recognize that at all. Okay, OBS set priority okay that's high by default okay maybe maybe this will have fixed it i'm swap i'm changing the game back to full screen and white screen okay that's something else going on then i <sighs> okay well then shall we just swap to doing minecraft again or shall we just yeah give up Try try to find something, you know, some way to fix this, or otherwise just move to a different game that can work in windowed mode. Hmm. Well, we're already in Minecraft, so we might as well go Minecraft. But tomorrow we take a different game. Yeah, just For... changing the title. I feel like the MDK is causing way too much headache at the moment. Uh, it it's the OBS being picky with windowed and on uh, windowed uh, games at the moment. It's not it's not but it's not MDK itself that is causing the problem. True, true. Okay, well let first off let's turn off all those bloody waypoints. I really should probably do something about that or just remove a bunch. Or just slim it down. Uh, yeah, might as well. Show this off. Actually. Okay, I'll probably have to raise the roof there a bit. Because apparently I get stuck in the roof there. Wait, wait, we'll raise still... the roof? Alright, all right, I, I turn on the music then. Is it still coming up or not? Don't tell me you broke it's it. Still, it's still coming up. Uh, now, this rope pulley here, if it's powered, uh, I forget what it, okay, if it's, depending on the direction that the, well, the, the spinning is going, it'll either pull up something or push something down, if the, well, cable connects. <clears throat> so at the moment, while this gear shift is unpowered, it's just going to automatically pull anything going up. It'll underneath it up. And what a gear shift does, well, it's uh, it shifts the gear. It what it actually does though is that it reverses the it actually reverses the direction that the spin goes in, as you can see here. As a quick demonstration with this powered toggle latch. Okay. Basically, what this uh does: signal comes in, flips the switch, and the signal that of that continues on or not. Alright. Uh, I just remember something. I think you actually made something go faster by adding more wheels. Water wheels. I th that might have been a bit of a placebo on our ends. That that was the... Uh, we did that with the testing of the... Well, the first prototype of the auto farm. Which I still need to update on both the... Uh, <clears throat> on both harvesters in the base but Ooh. yeah I, i'll have i might have to look in 
I'll have to look into uh, more deeply into how to increase the speed. I know there is another thing that should allow for the changing of speed, or I don't know exactly uh, if it'll go. Something broke there. Seriously? Okay, the, oh, it was just that that one bit of reversed ethereal glass. What this is, it's basically ghost glass, like the other glass that we've used, but instead it's physical for us, but for nothing else. And well, that one block was just in the way when this thing settled. Okay. Uh, uh, is, yeah. <laughs> has it broken more glass? Uh, no, that I broke myself because I've been putting in these pillars with uh, the lights, because otherwise this place would be rather dark at some points. Uh, yeah, you don't want to uh, step uh, be inside it's been a skeleton or worse spawns inside. Yeah. Um, also, th this is mostly here just for decoration and, well, to idiot-proof this thing so nobody gets them themselves tangled in the rope. <laughs> Not that I plan Wait. to have this be used by the colonists. Gesundheit. Thank you. Uh, let's see. There actually yeah. hasn't been too much else different since last time. Uh, the, was, the, the, you said it was reverse glass that it only blocks players. Yeah. But the colonies are not players. Yeah, but true. They, they should they, be able they, to come through. But are you the, sure? But again, we're not going... This isn't really to be used by the colonists themselves. This is mostly just for stupid decoration. <laughs> stupid slow decoration. Yeah, uh, still impressive though. Now I wonder it's though... Gonna, it's gonna I be make... fun when you make a skyship up there. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking we... I've, I've read that you can make uh, movable airships with Create, though I don't know exactly to what extent yet. I and have seen it, and it's horrible. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know you know the thing that when you use a slime ball and move forward slowly? Yeah. It basically does that more advanced, but it looks horrible. There is one that's way better, but the video of Jerome playing it was over one or two years ago. So, yeah, it's a mod I cannot confirm. I don't even know the mod's name or the prefix did work, since, yeah, Jerome did not even mention the mod's name. And that okay. one where you could be the airship f as flexible as your broom. Yeah, I, I meant with just creates. I, I read that there is, should be a way with only creates to make a fly, sh a, a, a movable airship, though, again, not well, to I what know. degree. I know, I'm just comparing to how create works in compared to the other more impressive one I've seen. The great is more basically the moving slime block thing. Okay. Yeah. I'll see if I can maybe make one with the Caledonia flying ships uh, in some way or something. And oh dear. With that, though, with that I mean with when you have a supply ship or supply camp from mine colonies. Uh, <clears throat> if you pick the Caledonia style with those... They were ba you basically get a an airship. Yeah, about that. You can't only place one. Okay, yeah, I was I was expecting that to be a bit too high <laughs> in plant. Actually, okay, the volume is up. Let's let's actually just up that to eighty. About. However, we can use the Caledonia as a guideline for our ship since i think we, we would want to make our ships bigger than the, uh, the caledonian similar style yes along with sails and so that it looks like a crystal rocket or something but definitely bigger to be able to support all your workshops and enchanting yeah. tables and all that Okay, uh, th there were a few blocks of this broken. That was because we reversed this thing mid-transit. Uh, the only way I could really pre uh, prevent that is would be to build a giant swan neck platform underneath this for it to move instead. Then I could just remove this and replace it with uh, well the same across it. 
And so, let's test this. There we go. No more instant damage on arrival. It's raining here, but snowing up there. <laughs> okay. Uh, this... Yeah, this was me trying to put down a fortress town hall up here to see if that was possible, but no, you, you, you cannot put down other town halls within a certain distance from other colonies, and especially not in the territory of another one. Yeah. At least we are... <laughs> Way closer to the surface than we fought before. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. I, Gavin's still being annoyed. There is something that we could probably try to do. Though I don't know if we'll die from it or not. Uh-oh. You, uh, you, you're not going to wrestle with a basilisk, are you? <laughs> no, we're going to wrestle with a wither. Wait, what? Uh, I did a test a good while ago, and that did say that you know, blocks that are re reinforced through security craft uh, are unbreakable, even by the wither. So uh -oh. if we just build a casing of that and then build a wither inside of it, we should be able to kill it without it escaping. Um, question. What what do we need for the wither again? Uh, oh yeah, we need wither skeleton skulls for that. Um, uh, but that too, I just meant... I remember we were to go off to the wither, but... We had a reason to go off the wither, but I forgot why... What do we need from the wither himself? Uh, the nether star. Oh, Ooh, right. Was it that called that? Uh, yeah, Nether Star. We need this for some builds. Uh, use, yeah, you, you need this for a lot of high level stuff. Claim it, grappling hook upgrades. Okay. Uh, yeah, quite a lot of things. We need it for the third level of the spellbook as well, and the spectral eye, which would allow us to see mobs through walls and such, which would make it a lot easier oh, to right? find bloody. Uh, raiders. And as hmm. a sword? 13 damage. Isn't too much, I think, compared to some of the stuff that we can make. Infinity Wands. It's, that's not actually inf infinite, it's just a very high amount of blocks that it can place. <laughs> Witherless Rose. Uh, uh, protects from withering, okay. But you'd have to kill four withers to get that normally. Oh dear. And beacons, of course. Hmm. The uh, beacons are lit. Yeah. <clears throat> I do have this andesite cleaver that I made, which has in innate severing, which is what you... <clears throat> which is what up, uh, ups the chance of something dropping its head. And... Wait. I thought something weird with that sword. Bring that up again. Hmm? Red text there. Minus... Yeah. 0.456%. I'd say that's negligible. It's garbage. Do uh, again. I'm surprised you made a sword made of stone and iron. And if uh, I remember right, andesite is stone? Yep, it's the it's actually the blade is uh, metal, but the let's see, yeah, the, the blade, the handle, and well, the entire handle, it's only a plate which forms the back of the blade that is stone, which allows or should allow it to be repaired with stone instead of iron. Uh, I question the what. People have made actual full blade stone swords in the past, just to compete with the copper. But they were impressive, especially the very surprisingly long ones that were basically like from your elbow to your fingertips. And they were basically made so they were basically a very long V shape that you put in a stick as a sword. 
But since they were made of stone, you can... I think you can guess the problem arose from there. Yeah, they broke. <laughs> yeah. Th but yeah, you're still... Impressive work, but still, yeah. They broke too easily. It was way too much work to make compared to just making a copper blade in comparison. So yeah, those still makers probably realize quickly that never mind, copper is the future. There, I think that'll do a bit better than just some diving gear. Wait, 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 what do you put on? Compressed iron armor. It isn't the strongest, but it'll do for now. I still need yeah. to remake our maid's armor. At least you had your pants really left. And there's some pretty comfy pants, at least. <laughs> no. Okay, let's take a moment to think about this. Almost all of this is ash, was it? Yeah, uh, this is quartzite sand. Okay, but still it gives kind of a... How to describe this? Ashen look. Yeah, ashen, ashen eerie look. Like, it, it kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, those scenes of a nuclear winter, but it was covered with ash and snow. Yeah. It just feels so... Yeah, it, it, it kind of evokes an, an emotion that feels a bit unpleasant and just sad. Yeah, just doing a quick pit stop to seal this place in. Or at least somewhat seal it in. So they won't go gallivanting around burning everything down. Okay. They might still spawn outside of it, but at least there's less of a chance of us getting our asses burnt. Friction! Okay. Your ass! <laughs> Speaking of... I'm sitting safely on a ship with a scrying orb and watching your progress. I believe that was a piglin. Yeah, I, I will not translate what you said since... Oh, bloodhead, that's a foul mouth on that one. I get the feeling this is going to lead into a trap. Nope. Uh, you were <laughs> right. Speak, speak of the devil or speak of the trap. And there. I hope yeah, it lava break flows in a hell of a lot faster. It shouldn't have been able to. Okay. Uh, decent stuff. Uh, an enchanted sword. Now we can take one of those. Let's see, a dispenser and a sticky piston. We've already got those in here, I believe. Uh, was it so what we got there? It's a like Gouda sword, right? Yeah. Bane of Gouda sword. Okay. Uh, wait, wait. Bane of what now? Illagers. That could be an interesting enchantment band to keep. Uh, yeah, especially if we can get our, a disenchanting system working in Hello. I yeah. guess these were supposed to be for how you actually get access or something. But yeah, this is a nether temple. Well, the priesthood looks rather... Well... Portly. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> Portly. Is there porkers? Uh, oh, portly. I thought, I thought you said portly. I thought, wait, what? Yeah, I did what say that, that, but it's close the... enough. Oh, hello. Uh, I was to say more decomposed. Did these... I think these spawned outside of it. Uh, ow. And we're a bit low on 
No ranged options. <laughs> Get up. Okay. Luckily, our as our shield is at the moment, it actually destroys projectiles, so they don't explode in our face. Hmm. <laughs> Did the police just give up? I I think I explored part of it further before, but that was before that stupid crash that reset a lot. Uh, let's see. It is a dented hero. Hello. <laughs> Looking for us, challenger. But wait, how uh, how many? I um... see three. Did you see three? They me it means there's likely more. Okay, necrotic bone. That is something we can use to make wither skulls, I believe. Uh, uh, you're aiming a bit high. That's better. Here we go. Uh, I do have some extra health. Oh, hello. There's another. On the ones. Okay, wither bone. Another skull. We have some fragments, though. Uh, I have some extra health from just uh, the cooking for blockheads thing, where you can get extra health for eating different things. Oh, come on. <laughs> Burning and withered. Okay, okay. That, that is some uh, condition damage. Come here. There we go. That didn't seem to drop anything. Uh, yeah. The severing on this thing should make it more likely for them to drop their hat, their head. But it also allows for the dropping of certain other items, I believe. Yep. It could have just been that it, <laughs> those were fire arrows. Uh, oh, well. What the heck are these... Hmm? It's Blackstone. Oh, it oh. Oh, yeah, it is Black... I thought they were skulls. Like, you know, tightly packed skulls. <laughs> it's another what? of those bloody adventurer spawns around. Yep. Picking the hole. Anyways, unless that's a Wither Skeleton, we have no interest in them. So, let's take a look this way. You remind me of something. There's a... I think a British dish called Toad in a Hole. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've heard, the first time I heard from that was from uh, Freaking Teen Titans, which maybe is, a, a sheer, is maybe a series we should put on our to-watch list. Because it is a good show. Okay, maybe. I have... From what I've been hearing, seeing slight bits of clips of it, I have been rather very skeptical, ex uh, yeah, skeptical uh, attitude towards it. <laughs> no, I uh, love I Toad in the Hose face to good mythical morning. Okay, I've, I've heard of them before as well, though I don't remember where. Uh, they are from YouTube. Yeah. I think they I, I've, collabed with some other creator I've watched at some point. Oh, they have, definitely. And they, they are funny. I, I haven't watched them too much during the pandemic since... I don't know. They, they, they are fun to watch, just... During the pandemic, <laughs> it... Uh, I don't know. There was nothing wrong with them, more like... Just no like energy, in, too. Yeah, low energy. And they usually shear me up, and I feel like I probably need something stronger. And they are usually hilarious. Though I also think that during the pandemic, they were also doing less content and were also slightly more limited what they could do. Yeah, because of security stuff and such, and we haven't been here before. Let's see, Crimson Iron, <laughs> bombs. <laughs> And Sinister Switch. Self deploy decoy blink amplify. Okay. Oh, it's a spell. 
a decoy spell, freezing minigun ammo, night vision goggles. Okay, <laughs> that is definitely going to be very useful. Uh, do you say minigun ammo? Yep. And uh, it seems that someone came back with, you know, <clears throat> from the sound of it, someone came back with ice cream. So let me just dump out some stuff here. And then I'll go get that because they're probably going to keep shouting about that. And yeah, we finally have something to swap out for the stupid drinks hat. But you still had that? Yep. What the heck? <laughs> okay, let's put those in there. And those you as well. Can we recycle the hat? Uh, we can't put it in here, but we can put it somewhere else in storage. For now, though, uh, let's put those in there. Yeah, wait, didn't you bring your backpack with you? I did, but it's a bit full up. <laughs> oh, for love of. I, just... I had another oh, one, but dear. I think I just flashed it away. I think I heard Widow Scott and Bone crunching. Oh, and... <laughs> well, that's useful. Well, that solves our problem. Okay, just gotta be careful not to put that stupid thing in the in the transmutation tablet. Because that you can accidentally do that and you will lose all the stuff you put in it. And why am I hearing oh. a skeleton not a, another wither a blaze? Blazes shouldn't spawn naturally. Or not without a spawner at least. How did I touch all of that? Well, you are Captain Hillian, after all. Get down. Yeah, give me a second, because now they're continuously shouting. All right. Yeah. And of course, he paused while being up burning. This is Captain Hill Hillian, the flammable people. And back. Okay. I'm back. I'll just set that down next to me and occasionally take a bit of it because it's a it's not a heat wave anymore, but it's still bloody warm over here. Uh, let me uh, check this thermos. Uh, what flavor? Uh, it's uh, strawberry marange, I believe that translates to. Strawberry marange. Okay, that's that dealt with. I, I, I think I know what you mean by marange. It, it, it's one of those that usually look like sugary garlic for cakes, ain't it? Uh, I'm not sure. I've never actually seen what the hell it is in. I'm just trying. I'm just trying and failing to translate here. And hello. Oh. Uh, wait, wait. I, I will translate. He wonder how your day has been. <laughs> I can hear a gas, so we have to be a bit careful. You can hear a gas? I think you mean gas. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, they are we have nether oil. probably full. Uh. <laughs> okay, okay, who should start first? Uh. Okay. And for anyone curious, the I don't think this is I don't think this brand is uh, can be found outside of the Netherlands. It's called uh, Hertog in Dutch, which I think is Duke in English. All right, can I say that again? Hertog, H E R T O G. So almost swimming for dry hair. <laughs> Okay. And this or, is where wait. we originally dug in. Wait, wait, wait. It, what? It's pronounced Hamtor. Okay. 
Uh, 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 do you pronounce it that? Uh, that's how you pronounce it. Hertor. Okay. Yeah, it's Hertog here, which is a nobility rank. I forget which Hertog. specifically is. Okay, you want to hear it more for you like a, for almost so sweet in order way, like uh, like Herr means sir, Mister basically. Hartog. Yeah, I guess I can see that for one of our nobility ranks uh, is Hartig. Okay. So uh, guess that I... similarity. Yep, we got one of their heads, but okay, we can't put these into the tablets. That is going to be a bit annoying. Uh, yeah, do also, I I think we can also understand why we can't, if you think about it. Hmm. Sense. Yeah, you don't want to have too many of these going around. Yeah, that or just... Uh, it would make it a little bit easier to abuse cheaply on your farming withers or yours to grief people with an army of uh, withers. Yeah. Okay, that still does damage. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, at the very least, uh, we need two more. But we can make yeah, wither skulls from other things like these withered ribs. And with the skull and the fragments. And also wither skeleton essence. We should probably look at uh, mystical agriculture more as well. Because you can get a lot of stuff from that if I remember correctly. Oh yeah. And thank you for the mental image. <laughs> wither okay. ribs. <laughs> okay. You should... Just imagine you have, you're eating some ribs that are shad very shadowy colored, almost looking like ash. No, they'd certainly be well done. Uh, well done to a crisp, but... Oh yeah, oh, it's good, we had that race spawn here. Yeah, there's a spawner somewhere around here for them. Yeah, we have the strider riding a strider. Strider Rider. <laughs> Striderception. Hmm. I think we could be, we can use Striderception if there's a Strider put on top of a Strider on top of a Strider. Uh, oh, Piglin. It might be an idea to at some point just excavate a lot of this area and just tie it all together with home with self-made bridges. So it's a lot less just running around the same corridor back and forth trying to find... Nope. Yeah, less uh, chance of getting lost. I hear... Ooh. I thought so. I heard, them, I heard them getting hurt on the quartz. There's more There's up there. More. Hello, coming to me instead. Okay. That's 10 total killed. There. Oh. <laughs> right at the knee. Wait. What are you two following us? <laughs> no idea. Okay. Should... They're getting stuck on everything. Uh, place. Why did those two spawn there? There shouldn't be a spawner over there. And they just <laughs> hurt the pigmen, so with some luck, there's now a blaze with a war going on. Blaze with a. Do, you, do, you mean. Blaze pigmen. A... Yeah. Oh dear. 
I think we have enough fragments to make a second skull, but we still need a third. And there was Wait. a second of you. I just see you. Did you forget to rename the stream? Uh, that's the, uh, oh, like, wait. That's the not notification that you were looking at. Uh, okay. But yeah, definitely going to need to make... Ooh, I almost fell into the lava there. Definitely going to need to make a note to downgrade back to OBS... <clears throat> OBS tw version 28, not 28.01. I, I keep thinking this is a widow skunk, but no, it's just some black uh, stuff, whatever. Coal or blackstone. Probably blackstone. Are these just randomly you? spawning, or are they just wandering away? Uh, what the. Um... Yeah, they change color when I'm lava, and when not. Uh, oh, I know that, just. I did not know you could have an adult on top of another adult. The, the, the yeah, let's no, let's no, stay away no. from there and not interrupt their private moment. No, no, oh, for love of. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I was to say I will eat your ice cream, they realize I would not like your ice cream, so you can keep it. Now, I'll, I'll send prefer... a picture of the label to confirm whether it is what you think it is or not. Yeah, for th 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 there is a sugary thing. I, I, I like sweet stuff, but there is a sugary sweet thing. I don't know the English of that. I actually dislike due to it being too sweet. And on some cakes, they usually became look, they look like sugary garlic. They did not taste anything like garlic, just... For some reason, that's the shape they decided to have no, like a flowery garlic thing. It probably was supposed to look like a flower, but it just looked more like a garlic. Okay, and these I don't. hated them just because it was like if you had them in something or on it, you will not taste anything but the sweetness of that in a bad way. Like, it... have you ever ate into something that just tastes too sweet? That it actually gets not pleasant. Uh, he, he's focused on the fight here yeah, now. Yeah, because we're kind of burning. There we go. Oh, come on. Did those at least... Okay, we have enough fragments to make a skull. I should have kept the stupid spell book with. Yeah. Have you ever eaten something you felt was overwhelmingly too sweet? Uh, Chinese tomato soup, to be honest, actually. What? That... That's... I, I did not expect you to say. I did not expect a soup to yeah, be extremely it, sweet. It could be... It could just be how they make it here, or... If they, it actually is normally that sweet, even in China itself. But uh, yeah, it was exceptionally sweet. I think it has been a long ass time since I've uh, had that, due to the obvious reasons why. Um, but I, I did manage to finish the thing, though mostly on a dare. On a dare? All right, uh, yeah. I know I can challenge you to a dare. All right. <clears throat> I dare you to eat a cricket. No. <laughs> what about the tarantula? Yeah, there, there's a bit of contact, especially not a tarantula. <laughs> yeah, there was a, there was a bit of context to that. It was actually with a, a birthday of one of my grandmothers that we went out to celebrate it, and after we well we had uh, went for some food after. Uh, with them, uh, with Grandma, and uh, one or two uncles, I think. My memory isn't the best, but I think at least one or two were there. Because it was one of the uncles that goaded me on to continue with the soup after I discovered just how sweet, fucking sweet it was. 
Uh, yeah, it, it, I don't re remember what sort of little... It was a little restaurant. Oh, I hear bones. Or no, there was a strider. Uh, but yeah, they didn't have normal tomato soup, which is one of my favorites. It, it, it is re it's really simple, but it is also just really good when made well, I'd say. Uh, so yeah, I just took the tomato soup, you know, the Chinese tomato soup instead, and well, that was regretted. But I still finished it. So it wasn't well absolutely done. horrid. What the... Oh, I have some pop ups from another friend chat, and uh, oh dear, he shows. You know what? I shall not say that name on stream. Okay. I'll probably hear of this after. Yeah. It's too <laughs> good to not share, but I will share it in Discord. I just, I just, the reason we not share is I think the name might be bannable on the Twitch. So I'd rather not oh. risk it. That's that's uh, concerning. Yeah, and also, it's better I explain that, that in context to my friend afterwards okay. than on Twitch. I hear something. Those are okay. It was a magma cube. Still, let's make a little stair out of here just to be able to check. I wonder, can we put down quartz like that ourselves? Good Your question. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone tr uh, do that. I nope. guess you can't. Uh, Okay, I dare you to eat f lava jelly. <laughs> hmm, there, there probably is something like that <laughs> that you can actually go get somewhere, but I draw a blank on where. Oh yeah, they. they oh god, yeah, I remember that. They, they, they're all spicy candy, and one of the spiciest of them is was made thanks to Good Mythical Morning by mistake, like. One of the Good Mythical Morning had a spicy food taste test, and they just called something Satan's toenail. <laughs> Apparently, gave some kind of makers an idea, and they made a lollipop called Satan's toenail. Uh, Isn't this currently the spiciest candy there is currently? All thanks to rats. The bearded okay, one. <laughs> Yeah, it seems that they spawn mostly here. Uh, but I, I, there's a candy shop nearby that sells a particularly spicy candy as well. It's actually shaped like a, a pepper. And uh, yeah, that, it, I, I, <laughs> I doubt it's as strong as that, but it's still freaking spicy. Spicy enough to make me halt. <laughs> and I grew yeah, up with bloody spicy made, uh... food. <laughs> Well, I can't recommend you one spicy food I started making again, finally. So I can finally use the kitchen without feeling like I'm disturbing anyone. No. Oh. Sriracha omelette. Uh, you spoke of that uh, this morning or, or so, I, I believe. Uh, midday. Do You you yeah. do... Uh... Yeah, but, yeah, work. <laughs> Early work shift yeah. today, so anything I'd see would be in the afternoon anyways. Yep, but yeah, it, like I said, this eggs in a, is a good way to mild in, mild them down. So Russia, like, you, if you if you take two eggs into a cup, you you break them first, of course, then squirt some uh, sriracha into it, like a like a one food spoonful, two food spoon. I, I have not measured it since I don't use spoons when I do it. Okay, but it's enough to when you you taste a fork taste no take a fork and blend it, then you just pour it into the fry pan and it will cook itself without perfectly fine without cream or anything. Okay. This show itself 
We'll hold it together like a pancake. <laughs> I've seen like that, uh, pancake. Yeah, I've right. seen it recently that people make when they make omelets that they actually uh, once it's solid enough that they actually f start folding them up and then oh, yeah. heat them a bit more. I I do that at times too. I did not know it was a thing. I just did it myself just because I wondered if sheets I added to melt. Do I admit I skipped the cheese today though? I did add the uh, turkey. But yeah, the the eggs like you it will still be spicy depending on much you used. But you will still use a you're not using a single drop or anything. You you use a bit more amount for it. But the eggs will dampen it enough for you to enjoy the sriracha flavor without feeling like you need to run for water <laughs> or milk okay i'll i'll give that a shot yeah maybe and, mix in and, some and, uh onion or garlic yeah so far it's just two eggs and sriracha and then i just add some breakfast slices of turkey or sausages in it but i don't oh jeez Okay. I don't do it too <clears throat> advanced, but I, I might try to do something. But yeah, you, you hear yourself the recipe. Yeah, yeah two easy eggs enough. is a Russia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it will be hard to fail. And if you want the spicer, just add more sriracha when you blend it. And I, when I made me blend it, I really mean blend it. Yeah, just really mix it up. Yep, and it will basically work like pancake batter. Well, not literally, but... The reason I can say compared to pancake is it kind of looks like a pancake at first glance until you look closer and realize it's too thick to be a pancake and too orange. And yes, it will turn orange. Yeah, because you're mixing red and yellow. Yep. So, safety. Safety wall. Safety wall. <laughs> These two are going to be a landmark. <laughs> Even though they're already right next to a, <clears throat> a waystone. Yeah. No. What, what, what should you name the waystone? It's, it's the nether spawner. Uh, it's the blaze spawner one, so it's already named. Hmm, I feel like with those two you should rename it, but... Uh, the Strider Lovers? <laughs> two Strides the in a way zone. Uh, wait, what? Two Strides. Uh, oh, for me, oh, uh, You know what? I, I just gotta go under the table <laughs> and think over my life. This thing is really smelting fast. What do you expect? You, you're not eating it properly. You're, you're what? You're, drink a bowl and shove your face in. I just... <laughs> you what? I was to say you go like a pig, but then I feel like I, the piglins may... Take offense. Angry. Yeah, take offense. It, it, it's just a phrase, guys. I, I did not invent the phrase. And then we're over here. So I guess I could say eat like an ogre, for ogres will not take offense to that. For apparently, what we consider bad dinner manners is a good dinner manner for girls in, in Warhammer. Yeah, of course. Basically, the ogre bully or brute, if they see you eating neatly properly, he will go up and slap you. <laughs> For bad dinner manners in their view. Uh, give them, them a you... fork and knife and they'll just stab someone with them. Uh, they probably would. They, they probably use fork and knife for some things, but they probably eat a lot of it with bare hands. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah, they are not exactly picky what they eat. Yeah. 
Then again, they all are a few things that can eat some corrupt, demonic corrupt meat without being corrupt. Like, some of them may get a bit of indigestion or such, but they're not, like, they're highly resistant to chaos, but they're not immune, so they just... Yeah, takes a bit while before they succumb to uh, the whole thing. Mm. I, what the heck? I, I, I think they would try to eat demons if demons did not have the usual effect of... Well, if a demon, demon dies, they go up in smoke and return to... Yeah, the realm of chaos, so not much to, of demon meat to eat there. Well, they just try to eat them alive. <laughs> yeah, dude, they probably have the same effect or something else. But then again, yeah, they... we do have ogres that eat lava. Yeah, they would probably find demon to be a very dissatisfying meal because once they swallow it, it just poofs. Or yeah. if they just like the taste, it does mean that they can just keep on eating and eating and eating without ever getting full. Yeah, no, reminds me, there's an ogre that's like a slave monster, but during his captivity to a necromancer that tried to do something with him, and he just broke free. And the necromancer tried to cast a spell while being swallowed by the ogre. Result? The ogre gave, became the first ogre to have necromantic powers. He made a living by selling zombies as slaves. Just from eating a necromancer mid-casting a spell. You will need to charge. Yeah, ogres are a bit weird. Yeah, or hardcore, depending on who you ask. Yeah. Oh, bloody heck, I still remember the video when they, for the, the Total War game. Pretty sure I saw an ogre. Well, they cut away just before an ogre were about to shoe someone's foot. Which I think it was pickled. Hey, that's all of that gone. Let's see. So we can make blazing bone and necronium bone from these. And there's some sort of fly buzzing around my room now. Kill it. Okay, I actually... You, you remember I told you how I got in bug nets to not have to kill bees anymore? I think you've said that at one point, yeah? Yeah. Two days ago, one got in, and I realized that apparently the wind had blown up the net a little bit. Enough for the bee to be unusually smart, dumb in this case, to pass the net and into my room. And I had to kill it. I threw it out and yeah, readjust these... my net, but still, I don't want to kill them. That's why the net is there, and I probably did, had not paid attention that either when I had to move the net to close the window or something, that I forgot to re readjust it. Maybe. Bees aren't the brightest little things. Yeah, and I I, I figured that I, even if I was struggling with it, I would figure out to crawl in that manner, but nope, this one did. For the us of themselves. Uh, I, I just hope it's not happening ever. Again, I don't want to kill them. The net is there to keep them out. So I don't need to. Okay, seems and that these the... wither bones and necrotic bones are interchangeable. <laughs> okay, I think we might... I think we have enough of these. Yeah, there we go. Three wither skulls. Four, actually. Ooh. Okay, uh, let's finish off the last few wither skeletons that are around here. Hmm. If we can find a spawner for those at some point, I'm definitely stealing that and putting it in the mob grinder. Hmm. 
But for now, let's just head back uh, to the mechanism area for now. Okay, this is still working. And I think there is a way to infuse spawners with certain enemies. But I don't... You can do that with spawn eggs, but I don't know if there's a... Well, a non-creative way to actually do that normally. Oh dear. No, I think I had made what was needed for... Uh, for the security craft stuff, but I forget. Oh, hello. Okay, seems one thing here got undone as well. I, I put up a, a heat generator up here because, well, this. <laughs> the coal make it works too fast for it to be uh, used up. Or it's produced faster than it's used. <clears throat> oh dear. Um, let's see. Where did I keep that security stuff? I know we'd made one at one point because there's a few blocks behind us. Or at least there's one block behind us. It, okay, that's yes, that's that's the reinforcer. That's the one with the, that we need. Basically, any block that we run through this thing cannot be destroyed normally anymore. It can only be removed. Where, where is the game being? There we go. It can only be removed with another security craft item. And yeah, here's that immortal stone brick. <laughs> yeah, stone block. Okay. We have the skulls. Uh, soul sands. One, two, three, four. I'm not going to make it here, of course. I just needed to get the reinforcer and we need some blocks to break it in or to capture it in uh, oh dear oh dear mm. shall we just put it in dirt reinforce dirt <laughs> Why not? Why not? It'd probably be easiest for you to break apart if needed. No, uh, it, it, like I said, only uh, any block, any any block that's run through this thing becomes indestructible, except for uh, a, another thing to, that actually can pick them back up. So, <clears throat> oh, uh, okay, yeah, they'll be indestructible. Because normally when a wither spawns, after it's done charging, it'll destroy any nearby blocks. But I did a test in creative mode, and it couldn't destroy the reinforced blocks. Uh, what the hell, let's take some diorite. Uh, wait, hold on. Can you put that cat on the leech? Yeah, it's not on a leash. Yeah, it's just sitting here oh. because I <laughs> told it to sit. I've been sitting there ever since. Uh, not too long, at least. Let's get a waystone. This is more than enough, but better to be safe than sorry. Um... I, I, I'm kind of glad you did not place your forge near the living district. Imagine all the complaints you'll be getting from, uh, yeah, your colleagues trying to sleep. And just as we leave, there's raiders. Okay. Oh dear, from what direction though? Uh, northwest. Oh. It's a meteor site that we haven't dug out, though I don't think we need to. I think we got all of the pressing plates, or press, yeah, press the pressing plates, I think that is the right wording, that we need for, uh, what is it again, refined storage? I think so. It might be, it might be other things in the meat, right, you might need. Mm -hmm, maybe. It, it's easy enough to find on the map, at least, since there's a big bloody hole around it. Yeah. For now, uh... Let's make, let's see, 
Those are not villages, I think. These are just single buildings. Yep, it's an evil craft tower, a dungeon, and one of the blue skies buildings. We still need to open up uh, those portals. And hello, scroll of lightning, sum summon lightning. Yep. <laughs> Bunny hoppers increases the wearer's jump height and grants immunity to fall damage. Okay, definitely taking those. Very handy. Especially in the nether. But... Okay. Uh, anything that can go in this thing at the moment goes in. Or we just. Can you bring dump yourself an extra backpack? Oh, there we go. There we go. That should be everything not too useful at the moment. Uh, oh, and I, I just realized that uh, <clears throat> I've also lost the uh, the bed. No, not what was it again? This the sleeping mat. We've also lost that. Oh, for love of. Yeah, that should be easy enough to make. For now. Uh, yeah, I'd say this is where we can put down the the waystone and then build nearby. Okay. There. And this should be good. Okay. So we just take this thing. And there we go. Reinforced diorite. It's a bit darker than it uh, was before, but oh well. Hmm. I think I will have to take a quick break after this, though. The ice cream? <clears throat> I'll to clean that up as well, but uh, also just nature calling. Ah, all right. Okay. Yeah, probably better to do that before a boss fight. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. I don't really need to put these here, but oh well. It's a bit of structure. Okay. And we probably may use this again sometime. Okay. And we will still be able to shoot through this. I think so. Oh, that was the last one. Okay, we can make more. There. Just so it doesn't end up destroying everything behind this thing. Oh dear. There we go. That should be secure enough. Heavy emphasis on should. So, I'm one, still worried. two, three, four. Then one, two. And now I'll have to cliffhanger you all for a bit. Uh, so, BRB. <laughs> See you soon, lad. Come on.
Okay, and I'm back. Welcome I probably back. should not have kept it on this, but I should have just put it on here. <laughs> but oh well. Uh, let's see. We have our sword, which does... Wait, why is it 2.75? I thought it was more than that. Hmm, well, at least this one... Uh, it's uh, 7.75. Okay, we'll probably use this one then. It shouldn't increase the chance of dropping a nether star. I think that is guaranteed, basically. Okay. 16 uh, meters later. Let's see. Probably also a good idea to go grab our spell book. Put up a strong... I Oh, wait, did I put that? I put it in no, here. Can I here. What shows total wool six weeks later? Mean uh, SpongeBob, the... I think. It is SpongeBob, bloody heck. <laughs> Guess that's one of the other few rare things I like that came from SpongeBob, even though I don't like SpongeBob. Uh, yeah, I, I've said it before, I find his laugh very annoying. I, I just found it will show rather annoying. Oh. I, I was pressing the wrong button. This one does 7.88 damage. So that'll still be the good better option. Uh, we can still upgrade it, though, I think. Uh, with quartz. So I probably should have put down an an a Tinker's Anvil down here as well. But we still have this one here. Okay. Quartz. Grab a few stacks of that. Put that in. And there. Okay, that'll make it 8.66 damage. And that'll make it 9.44. And we can still put one more on it. Yes, we can still add one more layer. For 10.22 damage. Not sure what ability is, though. But we can look that up. Uh, where is the book? Where is the book? Oh, okay, we didn't lose the sleeping bag. What? Yeah, it's just it's right here. Uh, wait, it would have been easily replaceable anyways. Is that anyways. the mage robes and hat? No. <laughs> this, the sleeping bag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was trying to pull your legs there to trick you to, to look for the rest of your mage armor there. Uh, let's it, see. It would be funny if we actually found them somewhere here and you don't need to remake them. True. All right, let's. There it is. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Does this should say anything about abilities? Yeah, abilities. Let's see. Ability modifiers have fewer slow, fewer slots than upgrades, but are stronger per slot. Okay, we have gilded, we have luck, we have unbreakable. Prevents the tool from taking damage, except on special damage sources such as tasty. Okay, but that requires dragon's breast, shulker shells, and netherite ingots. So extremely pricey. Dual wielding. Allows the tool Wait, to be what? used from both the main and the offhand. Tools with dual wielding have 80% attack speed and damage, or 90 attack attack speed and 70% damage for a two-handed tool. Two-handed tools must first receive offhanded in order to be receive dual wielding. Okay, so basically, uh, uh -oh. allowing you to du dual wield them. Well, th that's literally the name. Hmm. Uh, uh, aren't you a bit of a dual weed lover? <laughs> Depends, huh? And for that we'd require man man manulian ingots and nautilus shell, and I don't think we have... Well, we can make the first, but we can't make... You know, we don't have the other. Spin. Right, I think we have nautilus shells. Uh, let's have a look. No, In a not chest, here. that is. In a chest. Let's take a quick look for that then. Why 
I think we found one very early on. Well, let's say, of course, it is. Yeah. Maybe it was another shell, but then again, I would not be surprised if you somehow lost it during one of the crashes. Could be. Let's see. Magic find? We, for, it's not the first time we lost any things to a crash or had things duplicated. Yeah. Uh, I, th I think there... I'm not sure, but I believe there is a mod called Find Me or something. Or at least I think I've heard of something like that, but it doesn't seem to be installed. Uh, we still could use this to, uh, to find more magical creatures. The last time we used one, we completely misunderstood how it was supposed to work. Wait, hmm. yeah? Uh, yeah, we just we used it up completely. I, th I We thought, or at least I thought, it would point us towards uh, magical creatures, but no, it just gave us sight to see them through stuff. Uh... Okay. Yeah, I don't recall that. Let's put these away for some more defensive boots. And it seems that at least one of the barbarians have gotten themselves killed. Only during night. We know an easy way to get two knights. Just go here. And there. Okay, uh, should we extend the stream somewhat due to all of the bullshit? Because we are, we have about 25 minutes left. Uh, yeah, we can uh, extend a little bit. Might not be the best idea to be doing this. Okay, just set our save point here. So even if we get killed, we can just run back. Might be an idea to just stash a bunch of diamond swords there or something. Actually, at the very least, let's put the let's put the transmutation tablet away as well. So that doesn't get blown up. Probably a good idea for unsure if that's even proof. Uh, during the test, it couldn't get out of this thing, but that might be completely wrong. Actually, for extra safety, so we can just hack at its ankles. Uh, or at <laughs> now I just blocked myself out of that thing. Uh, let's see. Where is that thing? Access, refuse door. Universal block modifier. This is the one. Okay. Iron, redstone, emerald. Iron, redstone, and emerald. Hmm. There. And there. This should just be able to pick it up. Yeah, don't forget to put that uh, tablet back. Yep. Actually, just to be extra safe, let's just stash it back <laughs> at the colony. Hmm. So, actually... Just to be extra sure that we don't get some stupid crash. Just saving everything and then getting back in. Could take a, a bit. It, because every time that a crash happens and I put stuff in a chest to hide it, it got deleted. So we do not want to lose that tablet. So... 
actually it would be better to just keep it on us. <laughs> oh dear. All right. So let's just hope that this goes well. And yeah, hopefully by tomorrow I've been able to roll back OBS to its previous version. Or they've managed to hotfix their hot fuck up. Hopefully. Though hmm. so it seems to be working just fine at the moment, since we usually don't stream games in full screen. True, but some are just forced into full screen. I, I'll, I can also just look more into forcing MDK2 to be full screen. Maybe the GOG version has that as an option. The one that I've been you that the one that we were trying was uh, the Steam version. Do you mean force it to window mode? Uh, well, I tried the trick I'd had I'd learned before earlier to use the slash not slash uh, dash windowed or is it just dash window? I have a I literally just made a text file with the <laughs> with as its title. Uh, dash windowed x is y20 y is 1080 to have as an easy shortcut literally to uh, <clears throat> copy that into uh, programs this is hotkey the shortcuts to force them into windowed mode but i that i tried that with uh, mdk but it didn't work okay uh. now then Uh, shouldn't this allow me to just pick this up? Okay. So I need to do a quick search then. Uh, security craft. And what is this? Oh, then that, that's the night vision. Universal block modifier. Tell me you just ruined all our hard work. Uh, we could just make more. Let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta. It has three levels that correspond to the level of uses. Mm -hmm. Break a compatible from the block. It will not move. Immediately turn into reinforced variant. Okay. Reinforced blocks can only be removed by the owner using a universal block remover. Okay, but how do we use that thing? Okay. Breaks a reinforced block with the interact button. Left click. By default. Okay. It's not working. Um, it's widescreen for me. No, it not, it's nothing about widescreen or anything. It's about this Barrow thing. Is a deep... Okay, that was I mean, a white... video. I, I'm only seeing a white... There we go. Oh, widescreen, not widescreen. The... Now, now that was because I had the browser open. Is it just, yeah, just anything? Yeah, it seems that anything full screen just breaks it. Hmm. Oh, that must be a mistake. Let's see. Is there anything in the controls here? Yeah, they, they really screwed up their hotfix. Uh, controls, keybinds, and then we move down to security craft somewhere around here. Yeah, there we go. Security craft. Toggle. No interact. Okay. We could use this mod that some, for some reason is in here as well to just get in and out again, I guess. But why is this not working? This is how it should be working. Is it a bug? Hmm. Anyways, well, we can still you place this there. Nope. It's charging up. Yeah, we could just place it on the ceiling instead. And it didn't break out. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, what? How? Did it glitch through? Apparently. 
Wait, oh no, I know what you did. You made the roof too tall. Normally people do do stripes, they do so it's not suffocating almost. Uh, where the fuck is it? Oh, there you are. Surprise! Uh, let's quickly empty that out. Oh, that, that weirded us a hell of a lot. Yeah, let's not drink that when we are not being... Okay. Uh, let's see. Harm one. Okay. Amplify the fuck out of that. I can't tell Red. if it's trying to... Where is it going? Is it... Okay, there it is. Enough mana. Completely well, miss. It... Yeah, you did make it extremely powerful, but yeah, that it just means you need gonna need to make sure you don't miss. Well then, here we are, just. <laughs> Playing catch with the bloody wither. Oh. It, it is regenerating though. Uh, so we're not doing enough damage. Probably. Yeah, I guess we're doing good damage if not due to issue of uh, slowness of uh, mana regeneration. Yeah, did your metro give you more mana and foster research? Yep. Um, I think we picked up a mana regen potion somewhere. Uh, Likely not with you. Let's see. There's that decoy spell. Actually, I was about to hover over it before I sorted. it. Um... It's literally the only bottle in this thing. There it, there it is. Eight minutes of mana regen. Okay. Need to aim ahead of it. Oop. Maybe you should put those bunny things in your boots to avoid fall damage. Yeah, I think I have more use for the, for the running speed at the moment. Okay, we are damaging it faster than it can heal. If I can keep yeah, I can from burn. falling out of <laughs> into places. I can barely see due to pixelation starting now. How, how, how you done good the amount of damage? Well, it's half the health. Okay, there we go. Another round. We lost Did the extra health. Lose... But we lost we this lose... regen. Oh, damn it. I was trying Where to ask you? about that. If we have something to... Actually, we have something to jump higher. It's literally a stupid bunny slippers. Yeah. Now the bunny slippers are useful, aren't they? Go. I was thinking with the running speed we could outrun it more. What the fuck is... Oh, we can hit it. No, the airtime leaves us quite vulnerable. Where is it? There you are. But we are low on health. 
And I think we were actually making bunny noises as we were taking hits. Yeah, what's the ask? Is that your boots? Did he just... Did he just allow you to take a shot at him? Or, or a swing? Yeah, no, we were still had we still had the ghost effect on us, so it couldn't actually see us for a bit. Also, I'm surprised it hasn't managed to destroy this thing yet. Yeah, same. And I expected uh, to be more environmental. Uh, oh, helium. Mob griefing is off. Yeah, but just to ask if mod griefing affects <laughs> the reader as well. Which is probably just damn good for otherwise. Yeah, this would yeah. be a crater. <laughs> Missed again. And that does mean that if we were to just build a, bl a bigger block around this thing, it couldn't get out. We didn't even need the secured blocks. <laughs> yeah. That makes me wonder if it means our guards in colony could actually help. Since we don't need to worry about it breaking the colony. Uh, they'd, they'd get slaughtered, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, probably. At least until we have them upgraded a bit better gear. Let's actually take a bit of a different approach. Since it's Jackass just keeps following us. Will it follow in here? Yes, it's trying. Come on. Just a bit more. Wait, I mean, has it you... almost healed up? Yes. Oh, come, come on. on. Just a bit lower. It kind of fit we actually have a decent sizable room down here. And then we can just block off the entrance and it can't go anywhere. So hello, get out. Stay out. Come on. I know you want to get in. It's the stupid bunny noises. <laughs> and they do kind of sound bunny like, do again. I have heard bunny scream. If you also wonder why the bunny was screaming, it was upset at the vacuum cleaner. Okay, it's still trying to get in. It's getting blocked by something. And it's just getting its it's just getting its big head stuck in there. Is it, is it just trying to stay to a certain height above us or something? There we go. It's in now. Might be. Now we just block this, and here we go. Now you're locked in here with me, bitch. <laughs> um. Do keep an eye on your health. Yeah. And yeah, the opening is still big enough for us to get through. And it can't see us as a ghost. Hello. And now we can just repeat this at, fin uh, at infinitum until it's dead. 
So I'm just going to put down a, a bed over there to make this easier. That. <laughs> Just take a nap while uh, that thing is rampaging. Would that mean it will? He oh, did not heal up. Okay, good. I get the feeling some of our armor is broken. How broken? Almost completely. I can still imagine you heroically fighting the damn thing while wearing bonnie slippers. Come back here, you. That needs to be sealed off more. It's basically going berserk at the moment. It's also taking more damage, I think. One more. Come on. There we go. Well, <laughs> not how we wanted it to go, but it went. What is that? Heart container. Increase maximum heart up to 20 times. Okay, that's from Paraglider, which we actually haven't been using, like, much at all. Yeah, uh, don't forget to pick up the loot. It's already picked up around us. Um, oh. There's the nether star, which is immediately going into there. And that we can just chuck away. And Withering soul, okay. So we get that from withers, from with which we can make more wither skulls to summon more withers. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Oh, hello. What? Oh, this is the. That's part of the dungeon, which we're literally right next to. What kind of dungeon is that? Yeah, it's just the entrance down to it. A slime right. dungeon? Uh, let's hang up some of this around here. No, it, it's like the one that is near the colony. Hmm. In that it has multiple layers and such. Okay, gotcha. Gibberish. Okay. Might as well ditch one of these. And completely seal this off as a new... Not completely yet, at least it... Wither Roses? Okay, what can those be used for? Black Dye, Purifying Soap, Verdant Arrow, Harvest Goddess Band. Accelerates growth of nearby crops, harvests nearby uh, <laughs> grown crops, activates every half second. Okay. That would be more useful if we didn't have automatic harvesters already. Upgrade. Babi, when installed in a hive, it gives a 5% chance for a new baby bee to be spawned from the hive every time honey is delivered. Type of bee is based on what bees are present in the hive. Okay. Oh. Goddess statue. Glider. Okay. Tree fertilizer. And suspicious stew. Let's not try that out then. Yeah, that is concerning. Uh, now, where is our... There's our pickaxe. Okay. Put those in there as well for storage. And I think we can take off the bunny slippers now. Because the jump is getting a bit annoying. Okay. <clears throat> there. The widow won't be able to slip through this. 
Actually, Helen, you, you said that about your f last trap. Yeah, it didn't slip out through the the gate. It it got not, it got forced through the freaking ceiling for some stupid reason. So uh, let's just clean all of these up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> And then we can look at what to actually... Actually, I think that was an eighth there. And we can look at what to actually use the Wither Star for. Hmm. Could probably make a beacon with it. We have more than enough materials. Well, the beacon would make it e easier to find the base from a distance. Uh, let's see. Beacons are, well, the beacon, of course, and then layers of blocks of iron underneath that. Oh, and that's the timer for two hours, but we can still go for about 15 minutes or so. Sure. I would try to stay awake. <laughs> okay. Star, take that. Oh, and then, oh, what do we need snow. to make a beacon? Okay, just some glass and obsidian. Also, I made uh, an obsidian skull and an obsidian skull shield for when we take on the foundry. And we should have glass in here. I see glass paints. I see ethereal glass. There. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Put that in there for ease's sake. And then blocks of iron. I know there is a certain uh, maximum size to these. But for now, let's just we can just dig out deeper underneath it if need be. For now, one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. I think they have to be solid layers and not just hollow ones. Let's see. Primary power. Let's see. Strength. Okay. We need more layers for it to get more things. Let's right uh, it just buffs i i was wondering what the heck they supposed to do yep and i forgot that they actually do that they're so rarely mentioned okay i can't seem to select any of these hmm. is it to spawn Oh, wait. Don't you need something on top of it? Yeah, glass is optional on top of it. And let's add another layer, just in case. And he's gonna make it harder for himself. Wonderful. Okay. That should do it. Still nothing. What do I need to do with this? 
Are you sure you didn't miss a block down there? I don't think so. What does it say? Does it work on the ground? Yeah, I'm only sure I about think it that. should work, but. <laughs> Do we have to put these in order or something? No. Hmm. Let me just do it. Look it up then. And white screen. Okay, now the now the, the browser isn't full screen. Uh, oh, hello. It's not iron. It's diamond that need that it needs. Okay, that is it. Or uh, activation. In order to activate the beacon, the beacon must meet the following requirements. Because unobstructed view of the sky. Okay, so that is one thing. Okay, so it is the cave as well. Uh, yeah. Oh, and the raiders got themselves killed. Okay, then. Uh, those are broken and need repairs. Uh, I still got white screen. Yeah, then it must be because the browser. Okay, close that. Hmm. Okay. Uh, cobble. Let's just throw some quick repairs on this thing. That's, yeah, that's the Electrum one. That's one that's less useful. There, the bronze, Amethyst bronze one. Take you. And another stack on that. Okay. <clears throat> so, we, we had it right mostly, but it needs to be outside. Uh, it should still have an effect on the ground, though we probably could have also just dug a hole above it. <clears throat> Actually, don't we have an unusable uh, staircase at the moment? Uh, it's you know, less they... a staircase and more a fall pit. Yes. Wouldn't that be useful? In this case? Uh, somewhat. Uh, the beacon's range is limited, though. So it would be smarter to just go up top side here and put it up there instead of moving it off to the sides. All right. Also, maybe an idea to go take a sleep. <laughs> take a... I think hmm. maybe take a nap. Also works. I re I really hope OBS puts out another hot fix to fix this. And otherwise, we'll have to leave MDK2 behind for a bit if we can't revert it back. Or if I can't revert it back. Now, let's just take a... Somewhere right in the middle, about... And might as well put it up somewhere high. Not that it actually helps with anything. Well, give us a motivation to later make something here for the light as a decoration. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, yep. Three, five, seven. Five, seven. Actually, there was going to be one there anyways. <laughs> that was dumb. Wait, when do you to just do a hole down? Uh, we could have done that, but then we'd be just then we'd just be digging for a while. So this will work easier. There we go. <laughs> Bring home the beacon. Construct and place a beacon. Let's see. Regeneration should be active now. Oh no, that's for a full-sized one. Uh, 
For that we'd need to add another layer, it looks like. For now though, we can have speed, haste, jump boost, or resistance. I wonder, would that buff affect colonists? That is a question, yeah. What the answer or will be... Yeah, for it would otherwise be a good to just do dig down on the ground and make a little small hole just for this one. Hmm. Why does it need one of those to activate? Yeah, now we have resistance. But yeah, it needs to be one bigger for passive healing and that's probably going to be the most useful thing that we can get out of this so i should have some excavators there's a broken one there's not a broken one okay And yeah, we have more than enough uh, EMC to add another layer. And this, if this does affect the colonists as well, it should help keep them alive as well. Are you telling me this reaches the colony? It should. It, it should just give up a buff to every, in every direction. Okay. But, uh, unlearned, what? Okay, I must have clicked something wrong there. Let's feed all of these back into it. I hope whatever it unlearned wasn't something of actual value. <laughs> that would be an absolute pain to get back. And... It seems to have unlearned iron block. Okay, why is that in there? Okay. Not easy enough to fix. There. Wait. Oh. That was keeping up a spot. There we go. Actually, that might be a bit short, but oh well. And wait. Oh, we already had a beacon with us. So that one can go back in there. Actually, we can speed this up even more with the construction wands. It should be somewhere in here as well. Or did that break? Yeah. Okay, there there's is. the main ones, but no, that's a that's a Ars oh. Nouveau thing. Must have left it somewhere again. Okay, very least it is isn't too tedious. The building of the building of the walls was a lot more tedious than this. Okay. Yeah, and we were, were short. Right, is that? <laughs> and on that last one, the pickaxe breaks. Okay. So do we have to choose between them or something? Okay, now we have resistance and regeneration going. Continuously. Nice. And just to check then, let's go down. Also, let's pick... Actually, we pick this up. We have more than plenty EMC already, but just more gold is going always going to be nice. But you are a pirate. 
Yeah, maybe I should just start a stash somewhere with those. Actually, yeah, but don't you have a treasure room? No, well, technically I have my treasure room with me at all times with this thing. Let's see, we are out of its range now. But if we go back to the colony... We are... Okay, so it doesn't work on the ground. Okay. That we know that too now. far away. What? What? What do you say? It's... No. Uh, that it doesn't work downwards, then, it seems, because we are practically underneath it. That just means that we'll have to rebuild it below, uh, on the ground. And, yeah, I'll have to... I'll have to get some other things working further. The colony is still doing pretty decent for all things considered. Uh, I haven't changed much over here. I've already I put this thing in, so it actually spits out into a hopper. <clears throat> I probably could just put down a. If I'm too close to it, I'll probably end up picking it up, like that. So I'll, I'll probably replace that with a belt. So, it actually stays in the system. Just have that move it to another uh, chest with the hopper underneath it. Or no, the hopper wouldn't be needed. Uh, the pipes could just draw from it directly. But yeah. Uh, I'll continue on this here. I'll move the beacon down. The animal part over here is partially done. Also, I know... I. There's an easy way I could make this one safer by just adding another layer of blocks before the, the blades with the contraption so that you actually just get pushed around instead of cut up. Yeah. We also yeah. put a uh, special gloss around it. Okay. Uh, yeah, hopefully next time... We'll be able to go to the foundry finally or, and take that out. I have stocked up on fire potions and the obsidian shields that we can use to prevent fire damage. Oh dear. Um, hopefully I'll have my bloody mage armor back. And we'll have to see where we continue on from there then. Yeah, looking forward to it. But for now, let's go look for someone to raid then. Pillage, burn. Uh, also, I I was going to talk about it earlier, but uh, in the middle between us now we have an an event box, uh, which keeps track of well people who have been following raiding and such because sometimes uh, yeah sometimes a bunch of people decide to follow at once and makes it hard to follow. So a bit late on this, but thank you for the follow, Nano Sursky. Uh, Levy loves food and Grim the Wolf. Thank you all for that. Um, I hope you'll enjoy the show when you next can see it. For now, uh, this is that's the wrong part of Twitch. That's the extension stuff, which is useless. Which reminds me that I need to fix the images below the stream. <clears throat> uh, oh, Grim is actually live at the moment, it seems. But let's take a look. Uh, Gaijin Goomba has started up. Lil Treat Life is online. And they are streaming Rune Factory 4. Let me move this thing so I don't have to look behind the bloody camera. And I know exactly who we should raid them. <laughs> I have played some Rune Factory. Okay. Well, Graham can wait for another time then. Seems they changed up their model. And, uh, yeah, let me just... Copy paste their name to avoid any stupid mistakes in that. Go to our place and slash raid. Okay. Um, thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later. And thank, and thank you as always, Drakir. Hopefully, you're welcome as always. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll get things working for tomorrow. Uh, if needed, I'll just reverse uh, OBS because I really, really do not like the new look of it. It just it's all just a lot bigger than it needs to be now. Uh, so maybe I'll just reverse it for aesthetic's sake alone. And uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you all again for watching. And hopefully 
yeah, hopefully MDK tomorrow. If not, we can do more Shantae. That's good. And on Instinct, I looked off to my left for the stream deck, but I moved it more to the middle. So, yeah. Thank you all again, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for seagulls. <laughs> and uh, withers on the loose. Where? <laughs>